So I know I'm not the only one that jumps and screams at 1111 every time I see it on a clock, on an address, on a phone number, whatever it is. I remember when I was younger, one of my OG favorite songs was Let's Get Married or Let's Just Get Married by Archie Starr. And the lyrics were about looking at the clock because 1111 just struck, which means, oh, it's all supposed to be happening, right? So many of us make a wish when we see 1111 or maybe we feel that we're on the right path when we see that repeating number all day long. Today, I want to talk about this super basic concept that we all know in the back of our mind, but how we can intentionally be using it, why we should be using every 1111 you encounter to manifest and how. Hello, my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Lior Alexandra. Welcome to the B community. On this channel, we talk about spirituality, self-development, law of attraction, and 1111. Why? I just had like a brain freeze. Sorry about that. But today I really want to talk about 1111, that number that we see when we're on the right path, those angel numbers. I want to talk about the numerology of the number 11, the collective energy infused into 1111 and how 1111 allows us to manifest efficiently and to let go, and also how we can use it right now as a portal to accelerate and amplify our intentions and our manifestations. I was thinking about doing this video and for a long time I was like, well, I just feel like it's very basic. Like a lot of us already wish on 1111, but maybe it's time for us to become a lot more intentional about how we use this because it's actually a very potent manifestation tool. But first of all, I want to talk about the numerology of 1111. So according to numerology, which is basically the like the practice and the study of the paranormal and metaphysical connection of numbers to everything in the universe, according to numerology, 11 is a master number, right? 11 is a master number and it has an extremely high angelic vibration. The number one in numerology and tarot also actually represents the magician. And the magician is our inner ability to manifest, to be magical, right? So when you have two 11, since the frequency of um, 11 speeds up our manifestations, we have two of them. So we're doubling the magician, we're doubling the magic, and we're doubling our intentions. They're heightened even more. So in its essence, 11 and one is a really powerful number. When we have four of them, that's even more powerful, right? So while numerology gives 11 and 1 and 11 11 an innate energy, the collective, all of us, give 11 11 an inherent power. Let me explain. On this channel, I often talk about how collective energy can be infused into a day or an object or an idea which makes it more powerful, which makes it more potent, which creates, which moves it from being just a belief in another realm into a physical manifestation, right? So the time of 11-11, those, that symbol has been infused with at least decades of collective positive energy. So people who subscribe to the notion of angel numbers or repeating numbers, even if they're not spiritual themselves, they, they get excited when they see 1111. And that heightened energy is then registered into the collective unconscious's interpretation of 1111. So basically we are anchoring a certain frequency and a certain energy to a symbol, right? And the symbol is one, one, two dots, one, one or 1111. So this is why you'll really see people who even have zero interest in spirituality or law of attraction or manifesting, making a wish on 1111. It's its own little vortex of magic. So even non-believers are attracted to it. It's just something inside of us pulls us and makes us excited during that time. So because it's garnered this collective energy of excitement, hope, belief, and faith over time, it's gained meaning it's gained inherent meaning it's basically become this meme in our society and it now is an object of magic and power so essentially 1111 has become magical and powerful because we have given it magical abilities this is the same thing as valentine's day being a day of love it's infused with the frequency of love of gifts of you know giving or moldavite being a stone of transformation you know i have a video on that we give objects meaning in this reality. We give, we are meaning assigning creatures and we give everything meaning. And when we give something meaning and enough of us agree with that meaning, 
we begin to manifest that thing into being. So we've given 1111 this collective meaning with enough of our focus, energy, and belief. So what this really means to simplify that is, let's say the number that pops up for you all the time is 213. That's gonna be powerful for you, but 1111 still might be more powerful of a time to manifest, a moment to manifest, because it's been infused with the power of everybody else. Just like Valentine's Day, any day could be a really meaningful day for you or your birthday or whatever, right? But Valentine's Day is this collective day or New Year's Eve, it's this collective day infused with a specific energy. Now, the third way that 1111 is an optimal time to manifest really is that it allows us to be really present with our desire and then to immediately let it go. So when we notice 11.11, we kind of tap into the present moment. We anchor ourselves into that moment. And when we're anchored into a present moment, that is the point of attraction. And when we're in the present, in that point of attraction, we experience limitless opportunity. We create from every single moment. So 11.11 anchors you to the present moment, to this point of attraction, right? And when we do that, we also anchor our intention to the heightened energy of the symbol of 1111. So this creates a very focused and intentional wish uh, manifestation. So when you pass the 1111 in the address or the phone number, or when the clock goes to 1112, you kind of snap out of it. You set this very intentional wish and now you're moving on with your day. So this is a really powerful way to manifest and let go immediately. And of course, when we let go, we give the universe the room to step in and do what needs to be done on our behalf. We let our higher self know, okay, I set my intention. The rest is up to you. All right. And so now about how we're going to use 1111 to manifest. So 1111, look at 11 dot dot 11. It is a portal. It's a gateway to higher realms. See the two 11s as the two doorways to higher realms, right? So right in between them, we have this portal into higher realms. So what I want you to do is whenever you see 1111, close your eyes for a moment if it's safe to do so, of course, and imagine two huge doors. These are represented by 1111. 1111 represents doorways, right? And in between these doors, they open up and you are able to step right through them into your desires, into a reality in which your desires exist. So let's say I'm manifesting a relationship, right? So 1111 hits, I see it, I close my eyes, take a deep breath. I see the doorways and I see myself walking through the doorways. Before the doorways is my life as it is and through the doorways is my life exactly the way I want it to be just as it is, plus this beautiful relationship that I desire. So I'm intentionally walking through the doorway and you spend the whole minute that you have really getting into this visualization and really seeing yourself walk through the portal, walking into the portal, into the vortex. So 1111 is a gateway into the life of your dreams. And then you know that you pass the number or that time passes and you let it go. That's it. You've done everything you needed to do. And you can do this twice a day unless you're on military time like the majority of the world is in which you do it once a day or whenever you see even the number 11. You can do it while you see the number 11 because these are it still represents a doorway, right? The one one are two doors and they open up for you. It's just amplified whenever we see 11 11 because it's double that heightened energy, that master number. So November 11 is coming up in a few, a couple months. I don't even know when this is going to be posted. So whatever, just remind me that I want to do an 1111 meditation for you in order to manifest using 11, using, using 1111. I'm having a hard time speaking today per usual, literally what's new. So just remind me and I will do that for you. If you like this video and if you want more videos like this about simple, easy, but fun and effective manifestation techniques, please give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps the channel. It's all the support I want. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and leave a comment to let me know what you're going to be wishing for in 1111 if you want to share it. Remember that this is a really beautiful, positive, safe space on the internet. So 
if you comment your desires in the comments over here, people are going to hype you up and add to your manifestation. We're good people over here, so you don't have anything to worry about. I love you. Thank you for watching. And until next time, as always, keep your vibrations way, way, way up. Bye. <laughs>